What's up, my PT peeps? One eye, but I back to talk about The Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 15, trailer breakdown, discussion, and preview. Talk a little bit about some spoilers as well. So, spoiler warning if you don't want to know what's likely to occur in Episode 715. And here we go, guys. So, the trailer dropped, and it looks good. It looks really good, actually. You know, the group... A lot of the group is back together, as you can see in this picture right here. Tara is leading them to Oceanside. You got Aaron, Jesus, Michonne, a bunch of people in that picture. But you got Daryl on his motorcycle. You see Rick and Michonne in the RV. Like they're going sightseeing or something on there too. But it's good to see Daryl, Rick, Michonne, and the gang together, even with some more people as well. And behind Daryl is the bird van with... Father Gabriel, and I want to say that's Tobin driving that there, but you see a lot of Alexandrians that came along for the trip to Oceanside after Tara tells them. I'm sure that's going to be a well, you know, a part of the episode where Tara finally tells Rick we actually see that conversation. But as you can see, Aaron, Michonne, Jesus, Eric, Rick, Daryl, Enid, Scott, Carl is probably behind Rick and Tobin is behind Tara, but they get to Oceanside, and I wonder if this is Walkers or Rick and them setting something up around them to get them to come out and talk to them or, or something to, to avoid force directly on them, because I know Tara doesn't want that, and I wouldn't want that either. I'd want them to work together, but Rick and Michonne look like they're setting up some vantage point for Michonne to get up higher ground to take out you know, Walkers or Oceanside people if necessary, you know, but I wouldn't want them to use force on Oceanside I'd want them to come join the fight and if Michonne didn't have to use force with it But she definitely has the rifle there the one that they got from the uh, carnival festival thing at the school And she's definitely taking over more of the role of Andrea in the comics More and more because Andrea is a sharpshooter in the comics and you see Michonne is getting more and more uh, along with that skill set there, I would assume that she's getting a vantage point maybe into Oceanside or taking out some walkers. Here we got Aaron and Eric, who Eric always looks, you know, scared or worried or whatever. And almost like <laughs> Aaron's like, why'd you come, bro? Like, what are you doing with this? But he can, he finally has a part in there. You know, I don't see him <laughs> doing much, but uh, he's there. And then I see here kind of Jesus, Father Gabriel, maybe Scott. There, I can't tell who's behind Jesus, but you know they're walking through the water or around there to get to Oceanside, and there, and it's probably a good journey for them and a good trip for it. But some of them get on a boat, as you can see, Tobin and Scott in the background there too. Scott, and that's actually Scott is played by Kenrick Green, who is actually married to Sasha Sonequa Martin Green in real life. But they get on a boat. You can see the RV and the bird van behind them. Carl and Enid probably stay behind when they go over there to watch over things, I would assume, is where they're standing by this vantage point, the way it looks like that too. So all the Carl fans, we finally get to see him. He has been missing a lot in the second half of season seven. He is definitely there. You know, I guess he's finished school for the time at that, whatever, but he'll be in this episode 715. So people were always asking, where's Carl? Where's Carl? What's he doing? I'm sure he's been in school while they were filming season seven at this point. These are the walkers that I would assume go after Oceanside and Rick and the group, you know, and Oceanside take out the walkers and they band together is what I hope happens and I think will happen as well. But those are the walkers coming towards Oceanside. Here looks to be when they get back from the trip, I would assume as it's at night that they got back to Alexandria. I don't know why Enid's kind of leading the pack here, but I would assume it's there or it's at night when they're getting ready to go out for the trip to Oceanside. Then we got Hilltop, Gregory, I don't know, looking like the Gregory face, drinking after some his tequila that he has there. What is what is little stuff on there? I don't know. His face is uh, looking kind of weird there, Gregory, but he's just pissed and he's very mad at Maggie for uh, just kind of running the show. And he kind of has a sense of power now with his whole deal with the saviors, you know, if there's any problems, you let me know. And the saviors will come back him up. And so he feels like he has some power now. And remember, the group and Jesus are on the trip to Oceanside. So Gregory is like wondering what's up with Maggie, what she's still doing here and everything. But he could see an opportunity to take her out. And we'll show you in a second what, what I mean by that. But Maggie is left alone. Enid's not there. Sasha's not there. Rosita's not there. You know, Jesus is not there. There's no one there to look after Maggie. They're all gone, whether they're at the sanctuary 
or they're at Oceanside on there too. But Maggie's tough and she's gardening and doing her thing on there too. And she's doing something out there where Gregory has some dialogue with Maggie about it. And he tries to play strong arm and try to, you know, I don't know. It's just going to be a tough situation to watch with Gregory and Maggie. And I don't like this sign right here with the knife. You know, Gregory ain't going to do nothing, but that would be terrible if he actually did stab Maggie, a pregnant woman, where she would lose the baby or whatever. Hopefully that does not happen, and it better not happen because I would be pissed at the show if it does. Then we got Negan here. Just a quick little shot here of him. He's probably talking to Sasha or Eugene um, because we know some information about that. We'll put that in other videos like we have already, but Sasha is in there, and he's probably most likely talking to Sasha in this clip. So there you go, guys. That's the breakdown of the trailer for 715. We got some information about that. Stay tuned for future videos that we'll talk about the spoilers information going around. Walking Dead community, check it out. If you like this channel, you like the group. If you do like this channel, hit that subscribe button. It'll really help us out. You guys are awesome. Post your comments below about the trailer and anything else. Subscribe today to get more videos. You guys are awesome, and thank you for watching.